Testing, testing, testing. Oh, I shook it again. Oh, snap, I shook it again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long, I think almost a year since I made another video. Um, it's just my schedule with school got crazy. I had things going on in my personal life. Life was just crazy, you know how that goes. But I'm back and I'm here to update you on everything pharmacy. Um, <clears throat> I know that I had said I was going to do an updated video on how my second semester of my first year went, but the more that I thought about it and I was just looking over my classes, reviewing everything towards the end of the year and I was thinking, you know, it's really the same thing, kind of the same thing going on, similar classes, it's just the next step. So I just didn't want to be redundant or waste any time, anyone's time doing that. So I decided I'd wait and see what this year had in store for me. And this year had a lot in store for me in terms of pharmacy and just school. Uh, second year is completely different from first year. So I'm here to talk to you about that. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about my first semester as a second year student in pharmacy school. So my P2 year. Um, another thing I wanted to update you guys on is I'm going to be restructuring my channel. So um, if you see my header thing, whatever that's called at the top, and it has my name and it says like, I think pharmacy school, beauty, fashion halls, chat, some, some crap like that. I don't know. Um, I wanted to change that. Um, I, I noticed like a lot of people on YouTube, they just talk about you know fashion beauty blah 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 and that's great I love watching those videos but I wanted to talk about something that um, is I'm, I'm really passionate about and that's really important to me and that's school and pharmacy school and learning new things and I just wanted to use this channel as a way to give back to other people and help them with any other scholastic endeavors pharmacy school whatever so that's what my channel is about. Strictly education, pharmacy school, um, things that will help you in school, areas like that. So without further ado, let's just get in to this video. Stay tuned if you want to hear more about my continuing adventure in pharmacy school. So I made a list here of all the things I wanted to talk to you guys about um, my last semester, or my first semester. I'm in my second semester now. This is the first day of classes um, for a second semester. So I thought this would just be the perfect time to talk about what happened last semester. So um, as I said before, uh, second year is really, really different from first year. Um, first year was kind of like the way the classes were structured and set up. It was kind of like you know, undergrad, you have your five or six classes, you go to them uh, for a couple weeks, then you have a test. A couple weeks, then a test. This year, not like that at all. So I'm gonna go down the list of all the classes I had. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of them and just talk about how it was set up. So the first class that I had um, that I'm gonna talk to you about is called Patient Safety and Informatics. And that was a class that I have once a week. And that was just about using different programs to improve patient safety in like hospital settings, retail settings, um, whatever kind of medical setting you might be in, and how to evaluate those programs, make sure they're working, make sure patient safety is being improved, and better health health outcomes for the patients you're working with. So that was that was a um, a pretty basic class, very good information, easy to follow along. And that was once a week, like I said. Uh, the second class that I had was, let's see, population health management. I can't believe I had to make a list, but Christmas break was so long, I, for, I forgot some of the stuff. Not all of it, but a little bit, okay. Uh, population health management. That was kind of, kind of similar to patient safety, but it was more on a national and global scale. So we talked about um, health problems like epidemics and how you deal with situations like that when there's like um, health issues on a mass scale and um, 
the different ways, you know, like if there's drug shortages, what to do, um, who, how to decide who gets what drugs, you know, when there's a shortage. So stuff like that. It was more kind of an economic type class. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. Then of course, I had lab. Every semester you have a lab. And it's not lab like undergrad when you like make something and you're waiting 45 minutes for it to boil so you can add the next compound. It wasn't like that. This lab is completely geared towards communication with the patients, other healthcare professionals, counseling skills. And last semester lab, we really focused on IV um, verification. So um, like a lot of times when you think of pharmacy, you think of, oh, the person in CVS and Walgreens, they count the pills, they check them, they give it to me. But there's also IV medications, which you see commonly, in, most commonly in the hospital setting. Um, the technicians will make the IV bags, and then it's the pharmacist's job to review it and check it before they send it down to a patient's room. So we did practicing how to make IV bags for one and then how to check it to make sure it was made properly and it's safe for a patient. Then the last class, which I don't even know how I can just call this one class, but this is the big one that's gonna probably take me a while to describe, but I'm gonna really try to break this class down so it's really easy to understand. Um, I'm pretty sure every school has, every pharmacy school has a class similar to what I'm about to describe. Um, I know Purdue has something like this. I think Butler University does too. All the Indiana pharmacy schools do something like this. I'm not sure about any of the other states, but um, this class is called IPT, and that stands for Integrated Pharmacotherapy. And basically, this is like classes within one class. So just think of the word, the word IPT as an umbrella and then under the umbrella you have an IPT introduction class, IPT CNS, so central nervous system, and then a third one, cardiovascular. So basically how this class was set up, so for the first four weeks of school we had our IPT introduction and that was just inter introduction to pharmacotherapy, how the testing was going to be like, um, different drugs in disease states. It wasn't like really in depth in depth, but it was just like kind of a, um, a little sneak peek into what we we're getting into for the next two years. So um, basically what happened um, during this class is you have cl lecture for a week. So I had all my IPTs, I had them twice a day on Monday. So two hours in the, two hours in the morning, then three hours in the afternoon on Monday. Then on Tuesday, I had it for two hours. Then Wednesday, I didn't have it. Thursday, for two hours in the morning. Friday, I had this class two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. So as you can see, this was the most important class. This was the big one. So um, during IPT introduction, you have lecture for a week, then you have a test on Monday, then lecture for a week, and then a test on Monday. And it went on like that up until it was time for the next section, which was CNS. And um, I know it sounds kind of crazy to have a test probably every single Monday, and it was hard because I didn't have weekends. It was hard for me to keep up with friends or even have a life because I literally spent every waking minute studying. And not only did I have to do that, but I have my other classes too, right? So I have projects in those classes and homework and tests in those classes too not on the same schedule as this IPT course, but still I had to fit that in somewhere. So it, it wasn't easy trying to navigate and plan everything out, but that's how it went. Then we got into CNS. So every week was broken down into specific disease states and then drugs to teach that. So some C uh, just to give you an example, some CNS disease states would be like uh, different types of dementia, like Alzheimer's and there's Parkinson's disease. Huntington's disease, seizures, concussions, you know, the list goes on. Anything that has to do with your central nervous system and then the uh, specific drugs to treat those specific disease states. And then we also um, incorporated pain medication into that because that has an effect on the central nervous system. So same thing, uh, lecture for a week, then a test on Monday, lecture for a week, then test on Monday. And that went on for four weeks. And the good thing about that was you, it really for, reinforced your studying habits and really it makes you into a very good and efficient studier and keeps you focused and also like the icing on the cake was you didn't have a final exam like the last test would be like what you learned that last week so I was like yes no finals I don't have to like cram everything in but 
yeah, even if I did have a final, the, the good thing about this testing technique is even if I did have a final, I spent so much time studying, I wouldn't have to cram when I, you know, if that final came and it was cumulative, I wouldn't have to cram because I have all my notes, I know what I'm talking about, I know, you know, I've been going over this for weeks over and over again. So it really reinforces your, um, your learning so you don't forget these things. You can't forget them ultimately because when you graduate as a pharmacist, you have to take boards and you have to pass your boards and it's going to be the same stuff. So yeah, the last IPT, which is cardiovascular. Let me tell you about this one. Okay, so I, before I ever take a class, I have some friends who are like in the older classes. I'll ask them like, how is this teacher? How was, you know, this class? What did you do? Was it hard? Every person I asked told me CV was the hardest IPT. You, you know, it's gonna be so hard to pass. Good luck, da da, da you know, all these horrible things. And if I give you any piece of advice in this video, it will be this. Do not believe what people say. Everyone has their own experiences. Everyone told me this class was gonna be terrible. This was my best class. It was the most interesting. I was probably the most engaged in this section. I loved learning about these drugs. I just found the disease states very interesting. And they're so common, like cardiovascular disease states to me are the most common that I see, like that I dispense drugs out when I'm at my job. Like this, it was really important and I found it so interesting. I was like, I didn't really have a hard time with this class and everyone was telling me I would. So I don't, I, mean, I think it's a good idea for you to ask people, you know, get some perspective, but don't rely on everything that everyone says because sometimes that can change your mindset and you can already be feeling like, oh, this class is gonna suck, I'm gonna do horrible. And then you might do horrible just because you had that state of mind. You won't do horrible. Just believe that you're going to do well and you will. And that's what I did. So that's my advice. But we just talked about cardiovascular disease states. So um, like pulmonary artery disease, um, dyslipidemia, which is high cholesterol, um, hypertension, which is high blood pressure. So disease states like that. And then the different drugs that you tr uh, use to treat those. So like statins, anticoax, platelets. Yeah, but it was really a good class. And same thing. Lecture for a week, then a test. Lecture for a week, then a test for about four weeks. This one class, it was, the final was cumulative, but it was only like 10% cumulative. So it really wasn't like, you know, it wasn't bad at all. And I did well. So yeah, that was basically last semester. Oh, and then I, um, the over Christmas break, I had my two week rotation at a hospital and, um, you know, I never thought I would like hospital pharmacy. I like, I had my heart set on doing retail. Like, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm done, that's it. I wanna be a retail pharmacist, that's my goal. But after I did my hospital rotation, it was just such an amazing experience. Um, the people were so nice and welcoming. Shout out to Review Hospital. Love you guys, if you see this video, love you guys. And it was just a really great experience. I got to counsel some patients. I got to see some things I'd never seen before. And they let me go on every floor into patients' rooms. It was really awesome. So yeah, another piece of advice, don't um, go into whatever program you go into. Don't have a closed mind. Always have an open mind. That's my second piece of advice for this video. <laughs> OK, so this is about to be the end of the video. Um, I really hoped you enjoyed it. I hope it gave some insight into how um, a second year student in pharmacy school, you know, works. And um, I was hoping to have like a set schedule where I would do videos, but it's just not possible. I'm really sorry. Like I know people like it when YouTubers are consistent, but I just, at this point in my life, I cannot be consistent with these videos. I'm too busy, but I wanted to make this video just, um, to just keep the journey going and hopefully this helps someone. I mean, even if only one person watches this video, as long as, you know, maybe it helped them, you know, learn a, a, something more about pharmacy school, I'm happy with that. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to give back, spread the word, spread the love. The video ideas that I have coming up, I was thinking about doing a video on how I study, um, best ways to study in pharmacy school, if anyone's interested in that. Um, there's some apps on my phone that I've recently been using that I really would love to do a video talking about specifically like school and pharmacy related apps and 
um, studying and scholarship apps that I think would be a cool video idea. And yeah, that's all I have. So please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I am not gonna beg you guys to share or like this video, but if you do know somebody interested in pharmacy, um, I do ask that, you know, if you found this interesting, you would share it with them. Maybe this can help them out too. Um, put my YouTube email in the description box thingy in case anybody just wants to talk and like wants advice about pharmacy school, the process, da da da. I'd be happy to just, you know, talk through there about the process and, you know, any questions you guys have, you can leave them there or send me an email. Doesn't matter. I'm here to help. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. You guys, this right here is a mess. I just want to show you how much work I put into studying because I feel like I do a lot of talk, but like just, I want to show you. This is my binder and then these are all the flashcards that I made. Last semester, and I have them all separated. Oh, it doesn't end there. Oh, what's that? More flashcards. Look at that. Oh, there's more. What? There's more. Never ending. Okay, that's it. Bye.